Jackie Athelstan, it's Mrs. Hooley here. Hope you're all well. Uh, today I'm going to be reading to you one of my favourite books, Room on the Broom, by Julia Donaldson and illustrated by Axel Schaeffler, and it's published by Macmillan. I love listening out for the rhymes, and I bet you guys know some of the words too. The witch had a cat and a very tall hat and long ginger hair, which she wore in a plait. How the cat purred, and how the witch grinned, as they sat on their broomstick and flew through the wind. But how the witch wailed, and how the cat spat, when the wind blew so wildly, it blew off her hat. <gasps> Down, cried the witch, and they flew to the ground. They searched for the hat, but no hat could be found. Then out of the bushes on thundering paws, there bounded a dog with the hat in its jaws. He dropped it politely, then eagerly said, as the witch pulled the hat firmly down on her head, I am a dog as keen as can be. Is there room on the broom for a dog like me? Yes, cried the witch, and the dog clambered on. The witch tapped the broomstick and whoosh, they were gone. Over the fields and the forest they flew. The dog wailed, wagged his tail and the stormy wind blew. The witch laughed aloud and held on to her hat. But away blew the bow from her long ginger plait. Down, cried the witch, and they flew to the ground. They searched for the bow, but no bow could be found. Then out from a tree with an ear-splitting shriek, there flapped a green bird with a bow in her beak. She dropped it politely and bent her head low. Looks like the parakeets we have a lot of in, King in Kingston. Then said, as the witch tied her plait in a bow, I am a bird as green as can be. Is there room on the broom for a bird like me? Yes, cried the witch, so the bird fluttered on. The witch tapped the broomstick and whoosh, they were gone. Over the reeds and the rivers they flew. The bird shrieked with glee and the stormy wind blew. They shot through the sky to the back of beyond. The witch clutched her bow but let go of her wand. Down, cried the witch, and they flew to the ground. They searched for the wand but no wand could be found. Then all of a sudden, from out of a pond, leapt a dripping wet frog with a dripping wet wand. He dropped it politely, then said with a croak, as the witch dried the wand on a fold of her cloak, I am a frog as clean as can be. Is there room on the broom for a frog like me? Yes, cried the witch, so the frog bounded on. The witch tapped the broomstick and whoosh, they were gone. Over the moons and the mountains they flew. The frog jumped for joy and <gasps> the broom snapped in two. Oh no. Down fell the cat and the dog and the frog. Down they went tumbling into a bog. The witch's half broomstick flew into a cloud and the witch heard a roar that was scary and loud. <clears throat> oh, I am a dragon as mean as can be. And I'm planning to have witch and chips for my tea. No, cried the witch, flying higher and higher. The dragon flew after her, breathing out fire. Help, cried the witch, flying down to the ground. She looked all around, but no help could be found. The dragon drew nearer and, licking his lips, said, Maybe this once I'll have witch without chips. But just as he planned to begin on his feast, from out of a ditch rose a horrible beast. It was tall, dark and sticky and feathered and furred. Can you see that? It had four frightful heads. It had wings like a bird and its terrible voice when it started to speak was a yowl and a growl and a croak and a shriek. It dripped and it squelched as it strode from the ditch and it said to the dragon, Buzz off! That's my witch! 
The dragon drew back and he started to shake. I'm sorry, he spluttered, I made a mistake. It's nice to have met you, but now I must fly. And he spread out his wings and was off through the sky. Then down flew the bird and down jumped the frog. Down climbed the cat and phew, said the dog. And thank you, oh thank you, the grateful witch cried. Without you, I'd be in the dragon's insides. Did you guess that bit? It was all her friends pretending to be a monster. Then she filled up her cauldron and said with a grin, Find something, everyone, throw something in. So the frog found a lily, the cat found a cone, the bird found a twig and the dog found a bone. They threw them all in and the witch stirred them well. And while she was stirring, she muttered a spell. Iggity, ziggity, zaggity, zoom! Then out rose a truly magnificent broom with seats for the witch and the cat and the dog, a nest for the bird and a shower for the frog. Yes, cried the witch and they clambered on. The witch tapped the broomstick and whoosh, they were gone. There you go. The end. Hope you enjoyed that story. Take care, everybody.